everybody, I'm Sean Cummings with my wife Kathy here at the Gourmet Grill for Buy For Less. It's still cold outside, so we're doing another soup. Today we're gonna do a butternut squash soup, and I'm telling you, this one sounds really, really, really difficult. Can you pull that off of there and we'll get but started on the other one? It sounds really cool if you make it. It tastes absolutely fabulous. So what we're gonna do is start with kind of an empty pan with just a little bit of butter in here. It's like three pats of butter. Mm -hmm. Now, the big thing with butternut squash soup, there's gonna be a bunch of stuff in here. If you pull it off the internet, most of this you're gonna have in your house. If not, substitute a little bit, okay? A little bit of onion with our little three pats of butter. That's half an onion. And then some thyme. Now, this is gonna be really aromatic and you're gonna smell it all through the house, which is gonna make everybody happy when they come home. Okay, if you've never dealt with a butternut squash before, it looks like this. Kind of a goofy looking little thing. Most people try to peel these with a knife and you're gonna cut yourself. Yeah. Just use a peeler, it comes right off. It's amazingly simple how that works. But down on the bottom side, you're gonna get this part right here that has seeds and everything in it. Just run a little spoon through there. It's no big deal and it ends up looking like that. Yes. So you're ready to go. It is hard to cut. You're gonna have to cut through it. This is like, a, you know, I hate to use the word meaty flesh, but that's about what it feels like. So all you're doing is cutting these up. Now Kathy is gonna get us started with the potatoes in there. The potato thins this thing out a little yes. bit. Butternut squash is a bitter vegetable. So you want something a little softer. We're gonna throw all that stuff in there, move it around a little bit, and then get our chicken stock in there and get this stuff started to boil. Now, this thing, whole process will probably take you 15 minutes or so, but we'll get it done here in a few minutes. Chicken stock, chicken I always stock. use Swanson just because I like the flavor on the thing. I really do. Now, after that's in, here's some weird stuff. You can use Bloody Mary mix or V8. I don't really care which one you use. Just I throw a, too spicy, V8. Yeah, throw about eight ounces of it in there and then about a cup of apple juice just to make it a little sweet. So we're gonna have sweet and tart. And Kathy, the queen of fresh cracked pepper, is gonna throw Love us in some pepper. pepper over here. Hey, if you wanna make your own ground pepper, just get a coffee grinder. That's the easiest way to do Best it. Best way to do it. Um, the other way is to do, use a spoon is what I did on this thing on a metal pan. So yes. anyway, after you do that, all you're gonna do is boil this stuff till it's soft, okay? Mm -hmm. So we're stopping everything there and we're gonna put the other pan yes. on and I'll show you how to finish this thing. When you're finishing this outside of lighting a fire with the, with the paperwork, look, it'll come to a boil. All you're doing is throwing in one cup of cream. Yes. This is actually pretty darn healthy. Don't tell anybody that. Excellent. It'll ruin it. If you tell them it's healthy, they don't want it. For winter, you can't beat the soup and you can't beat the flavor of it. She has got this doing blender a little thing blender down. action going on here. <laughs> now, we did cut up some parsley in advance to throw on top of this thing. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna spoon this thing up and we'll be ready to roll. Look at the recipe, that it's buyforlessok.com. You'll be ready to roll. We have a spoon? We have a so ladle and this. And this is what this monster is supposed yeah. to look like. Right oh, there. You did a good job there. I know, thank you. You're welcome. For these and other recipes, buyforlessok.com. Okay.